My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 95 of the 120 Days to Jam Chemistry with Flash IC. In this episode, we shall be looking at totumerism and metamerism. These are types of structural isomerism. Jam doesn't expect you to know much under totumerism or metamerism. What you should simply know under totumerism is that the isomers are in dynamic equilibrium with each other. As you can see here, this is arrow to C, triple bond to N. And you see this other one, it, was, it has been reversed, arrow to N, triple bond to C. So they are balanced, forward and reversed are at the same rate. That is totumerism for you. Then we say, keto is not isomerism, it's an example of that. It is an example of totumerism. Why for metamerism, the isomers belong to the same functional group, but they have unequal distribution of carbon. Look at this. Here you have two carbons towards the left. Here you have two carbons towards the right. And the functional group is eta. This is diethyl eta. Look at here. The functional group remains eta or eta, but you have just one carbon towards the left and three carbons towards the right. So there is unequal distribution of carbon at the right and left of the functional group. And this is methyl propyl eta. So diethyl eta and methyl propyl eta, they only differ based on the distribution of carbons along the functional group. For here, there is equal two carbons here, two here, distribution. But for here, just one carbon at the left and three at the right. That is what makes metamerism. So if they ask you, diethyl eta and methyl propyl eta are examples of that, they are examples of metamerism. So that is it for this episode. And it's not all the episode you have to spend hour or two hours or three hours teaching. Some of the episodes you just learn, enjoy, cool your brain, and at the end you are good to go. So that is it. And make sure you get the Flash Linux Jam application. It is going to help you. In fact, more than help you. And what else? Just enjoy yourself. Be fine. Be happy. And just take it easy on yourself. Don't be scared. Oh, jam. Oh, jam. I will start. I've no rest. Nah. Just relax. Read. Do your thing, go to the hall, write, and go home. After the exam, you don't need to come out and be asking, Hey, did they tell this question for you? What is the answer? Or you go home and be taking answers. You will kill yourself with depression. Just prepare as you can, go to the hall, write. You must not finish. The fact that you don't finish doesn't mean you will fail. Out of, in an exam, out of um, 100 questions, you are able to even answer 6 to 70. That's a very good score. So you don't need to answer everything to get 100 to 100. There is no point in that. Write your exam, go home, be moving with your life, wait for the results to be out. And anyhow it goes, if you fail jam, it's not the end of life. Maybe your parents are comparing you to those in school. Read, you are lead. If you fail, it's a possibility. And it doesn't mean you didn't study well or you are so dull. If you fail, there are a lot of factors that can make you fail. So don't because of that enter the street or give up on your life that you're not going to school again or you are tired or it's your third jam, you're not writing again, you are useless. No. When you feel, relax, take time, try again. You'll definitely get it. Passing jam the first time or the second time doesn't mean you'll be better than those who fail jam. So everybody, we have different lives, different fits. So just do your best. If you don't pass, push. you certainly pass one day, two, three, four times. So that is destiny. Not because of events or failure, give up on yourself. In the long run, you will not be happy you took that decision. So if you need something, there's something you are pursuing, 
if it doesn't work, keep pushing, keep developing yourself. At the end, you'll just be alright. So, see you in the next episode.